Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. There is a new sword in town, the Freedom Sworn Sword. A straight sword, azure as antediluvian song, and as keen as the oaths of freedom taken from the land of wind. Let's see if this sword's performance can live up to its incredible weapon description. In case you aren't aware, the Freedom Sworn Sword is currently in the weapon banner, along with, unfortunately, the Skyward Atlas. Let's go over the basics of the sword. It has 608 base attack and 198 elemental mastery at level 90, and it also provides 10% bonus damage to its wielder at refinement 1. When the user of this sword triggers an elemental reaction, you gain a Sigil of Rebellion. Gaining these sigils has a 0.5 second cooldown, and you can gain sigils off field as well. When you gain two sigils, it activates its party buff, which provides 20% attack and 16% bonus damage to normal, charged, and plunge attacks to all members in your party. The buff lasts for 12 seconds and has a 20 second cooldown. At refinement 5, this party buff doubles and becomes a much more impressive 40% attack and 32% bonus damage to normal attacks, charge attacks, and plunge attacks. Now let's see some actual numbers. Starting off this demonstration, we'll be using the cutest character in Genshin Impact, Klee. With my artifacts and the Dodoko Tales, my Klee has 100% crit rate. In this clip, you can see that she's doing 5,276 damage with her normal attack. Next, let's try this with Kazuha with the Iron Sting as a baseline for comparison. Kazuha provides 40% Pyro Resistance Shred thanks to the Viridescent Veneer 4 piece and 36.76% bonus Pyro damage thanks to his Ascension 2. With Kazuha's buffs, Klee did 8044 damage, an impressive 52% increase to her basic attack. Next, let's have Kazuha equip a Refinement 1 Freedom Sworn Sword. Now with the Freedom Sworn Sword, Kazuha is providing 40% resistance shred, 38.08% pyro damage, 20% attack, and 16% basic attack damage. With all four of these buffs, Klee is now doing 9,273 damage, a 76% overall increase from her without her buffs, and 24% more than Kazuha with the Iron Sting. The next example will have Kazuha using a Refinement 5 Freedom Sword and Sword. After bringing it up to Refinement 5, Kazuha is now providing 40% Pyro Resistance Shred, 38% Pyro Damage, 40% Attack, and 32% Bonus Damage. Klee's Normals are now doing 10,573 damage, double that of her buffless Klee. To summarize, compared to Kazuha with the Iron Sting, a Refinement 1 Freedom Sword provides an additional 24% boost in Klee's damage, while a Refinement 5 5, Freedom Sword nearly doubles that damage buff and ends up providing around a 48% boost to Klee's damage. But that was extremely specific to that scenario. Let's instead try a full party full of buffs and miscellaneous stuff happening. Depending on the situation, the Freedom Sword Sword will sometimes have higher returns or lower returns. We'll do this with Melt's Ganyu now. With this combo and a bunch of buffs from all of Ganyu's teammates, and with Constellation Zero Kazuha with the Iron Sting, Ganyu's Melt's are doing 223,561 damage. Now let's see how much she does with the same Kazuha and the same team, but now with a Refinement 1 Freedom Sword and Sword. Two hundred forty-five thousand five hundred sixty-eight damage. Compared to the previous Klee example, where Klee's damage was boosted by an additional twenty-four percent, this is a comparatively modest ten percent overall boost to Ganyu's Melt Charge Shot damage. Thanks to the Amos Bow and all the various team buffs, there were significant diminishing returns from the Freedom Sworn's buffs. Nonetheless, ten percent more damage for Ganyu is a lot of damage. Next, let's try the Refinement Five Freedom Sworn. With this exact setup again, now Ganyu is doing 267,599 damage, another 10% more damage. So in total, the Refinement 5 Freedom Sword and Sword in this full team situation is providing 20% additional damage. 
So in a full party, the Freedom Sworn's buff is not as big as just with Kazuha and Klee. Nonetheless, the Freedom Sworn sword easily makes Kazuha one of the best supports for any basic attack carry like Ganyu. Now these next two clips are just for fun, and I wanted to see how much damage my Melt Ganyu could do. 570,332 damage. Man, if you thought Melt Ganyu was strong before, now she's even crazier. And last one, I wanted to push this to the limit, so I'm doing this to the Primo Geovishap at level 50. Six hundred thirty-three thousand two hundred fifty-four damage. That's a personal best for me with Melt Gone You. Now let's take a look at how effectively characters can activate its buff. For many characters to activate this buff easily, I recommend utilizing a 2U elemental gauge ability. One of the easiest providers of this is Bennett, either with his burst or his elemental skill. Since there are so many characters and so many different ways to activate the Freedom Sword and Sword, the following are just a few examples of how you can activate the buff with a support character like Bennett. Starting off with the Animo Traveler, she can simply do a hold E on even a 1U elemental gauge on the enemy, and thus she will do two swirls and activate his buff. For Geo Traveler, I recommend using Bennett's burst for two gauges of Pyro, and then simply use Geo Traveler's skill and then burst to activate it. Next we have the main man himself, Kazuha. Kazuha has many ways to activate this, including just his elemental skill, or just his elemental burst, or some combination, or even switching off early. To quickly activate this with Xing Chu, I found that the only consistent way I could do this with was with Constellation 6 Bennett. Simply use his burst or his elemental skill to overwrite Pyro and apply Hydro on the enemy, then left click with Xing Chu to vaporize to activate the Freedom Sworn buff. Now of course this only works with Constellation 6 Bennett. For Jean, I also recommend a 2U elemental gauge from, for example, Bennett's burst, and then you can simply tap E and then Q. You can probably proc it off field as well with Jean's burst and another character applying an element and Jean's burst ends up swirling it. As for Kaya, being Cryo, even a 1U Pyro can activate it with his E and then his burst. Kaya can also activate this off field with just his burst. Chi Chi can activate it with her skill and then her burst against a single gauge of Pyro. And last but not least, we have Albedo. Albedo can activate it off-field very efficiently, and he can activate it on-field. Albedo is an amazing user of this weapon, and also this crazy bug happened while I was testing this. So in the end, in my opinion, Kazuha, Albedo, Animo Traveler and Jean stand out as some of the best characters to activate the Freedom Sworn's buff. I also forgot about Bennett, but there are many ways to activate it with Bennett as well. And last but not least, let's talk about the DPS characters that massively benefit from this weapon. The biggest winner is, in my opinion, Ganyu. Ganyu is already one of the best, and now if you have Kazuha with this weapon, she's even better. Thanks, Mihoyo. I'm glad you buffed her because after all, she was just a support character. That was a joke, by the way. Besides Ganyu, pretty much any basic attack carry can utilize this buff to some degree, like Klee, Ningguang, Kuching, Hu Tao, Deluk, Razor, Xiao, and pretty much everyone else, honestly, just to different degrees. So there you go, my analysis and review of the Freedom Sword and Sword. In my opinion, it is one of the better millennial movement weapons due to its flexibility, ease of activation, and universally good buff. But I really want to caution you against pulling on the weapon banner. The weapon banner also happens to have the Skyward Atlas, which is in my opinion one of the worst 5-star weapons in the game, being only a little bit better than the completely free-to-play Dodoko Tales. Anyway, I'd really appreciate it if you supported my channel and smashed that subscribe button. It means so much to me to reach 100,000 subscribers, and frankly I can't believe that I'm even close to that. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out. Thank you.